Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. This is a cool video, a fun video. This is all about your biceps. All right, using an old school piece of equipment. This is an arm blaster. You've seen Arnold Schwarzenegger and all of his gym buddies using the arm blaster. If you don't have one, they're very inexpensive, but they do provide really cool benefits. So you will see me doing a full bicep workout utilizing an arm blaster. The cool thing about the arm blaster is going to eliminate all momentum because at the end of the day, if you go to the gym, man, or you're watching videos, you're watching Facebook stuff, you're gonna see a lot of people doing bicep work wrong, cheating the movement, shortening the range of motion, do a lot, doing a lot of things that are not optimizing their workout. So one of the cool benefits, like I said, of the arm blaster is the fact that it really keeps you in the right position. Make sure you're sitting it right at the elbows, all right? A lot of people wear it way up on the triceps. If you got it way up here, then you're still able to rock, shorten the range of motion, and use momentum. The lower you are here, you wanna press those elbows into those pads. When you're raising the weight up, press those elbows back in, all right? That's really gonna keep that momentum away from the bicep movement. It's gonna give you a full range of motion, so you're gonna get great results when you're doing it that way. I'm doing four different exercises in this video, and this is gonna be a follow along video, so you're gonna see me struggling a little bit. It's a tough workout, all right? Here's the thing, at the end of the day, when you're working biceps, biceps are actually a smaller muscle. It's not like the chest and the back and the quads, all right? So you don't need to do a whole lot of work. So I'm keeping the sets under 10. Under 10 total sets, you're gonna get tremendous work. I'm utilizing two techniques that are intensifier techniques. My Tricon, if you haven't done any of my Tricon stuff, my Tricon bicep curls are amazing, especially when you're using an arm blaster. So pay attention to how I do those, all right? All my Tricon sets, I've got a Tricon X and a standard Tricon. All of my standard Tricon sets are nine reps. Three full range of motion, explosive on the concentric. Control it down, explode it up. Three reps. Then you're gonna do three 10 second isometric holds right at the 90 degree. This is where the arm blaster really works because when you're doing a hold, a lot of people, if they don't have arm blasters, tend to hold up here. You'll notice that's cheating a little bit. You're removing tension from the bicep. So basically, if you've got those elbows pressed into the pads, then you've got not only the weight of the dumbbells, but gravity pulling down dumbbells, which is giving you more intensity in the biceps, which is what you're trying to do when you're doing all your bicep work, especially in those 10 second isometric holds. So Tricon X, six reps. So all you're gonna do is your three explosive, and then you're gonna do your three isometric holds. However, with this workout, I'm doing a full standard Tricon set. So you'll notice after my three 10 second isometric holds, I'm doing three more full range of motion reps. So keep it nice and slow. Make sure you're really keeping the weight under control when you're doing those. That's gonna create a ton of time under tension in those biceps. You're gonna be doing two sets of those and then you're gonna finish off with 21s. If you haven't done 21s, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, it's a great intense technique so you're gonna be finishing off with that. That being said, I'm gonna let you get into this workout, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you got any questions about any of these exercises or you need clarification on anything, comment below and let me know. Other than that, enjoy this workout. 